Yo, what up, everybody? It's your boy, Uncle Jesse. All right, time for 2021 Tops Gypsy Queen Baseball. Full case mojo. Number one style. All right, here we go. I'm probably going to regret putting this up as a full case here. But, uh... Not as much as my sorters are going to regret <laughs> me putting this up as a full case. But it was uh, at a great price. And uh, figured it'd be better to just do a full case. So uh, without any further ado. Good luck, everybody. Thank you, Isaac. I'm gonna, ooh, three chrome cards inside. You're saying Jason pulled a 101 out of these? Uh, TCU? Let's see what we got. Oh, so these, uh, so these tops packs are different than, uh, the rest. Okay. Mm, gotta be careful with these. There's all, all kinds of variations with this stuff. What do I need razor blades for? Are they still doing the variations where they change the the GQ logo and stuff like that? I like the feel of these cards. Ah, oh, the no name variation possibly right there. For Rizzo the Cubs. This one has like the different, the different uh, font, maybe if you will, there for the Cubs. Script is that what they call it? They got these die cuts this year. Marte of the uh, D backs. Wow, bazooka backs. Gotta check the. Well, I'll do that on a box by box basis. What else, what else, what else should I uh, keep an eye out for? Oh, they got the black and white. That one's to 50, actually. Eric Hosmer Padres.
like these tarot cards they got this year. Man, these cards are beautiful, man. Jordan, I was going to say, don't they have sepias in this stuff, too? There you go. Thank you for confirming that. Damn, this is clean. Andy Young, rookie autograph, Diamondbacks to 150. Very nice. And these things are sharp. And they have a nice, I like the feel of them, too. It's a, it's a nice card stock they use. And Cubs with that short point got a hit there too. Bueller Dodgers. Mini. My sorter's gonna be mad. <laughs> well, at least this is fairly easy to sort. Just a lot of cards. Uh, Luis Garcia, rookie autograph for the Nationals. To one fifty. We have uh, TCU, so we have mats uh, for each sport, baseball, hockey, uh, basketball, and each mat has, you know, the teams with the logos and stuff, so it's also separated by, like, division or, or ALN or whatever, AFC West, all that stuff. So we, we 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 got we got we got it covered. We got Jimenez of the Indians to 150. Love these tarot cards, man. So clean. Blue Jays down the hatch. Rookie of the Blue Jays. Well, Tom Hatch to 250. Yellich, Captain Mini, gorgeous, gorgeous cards. I gotta say, very nice this year, Gypsy Queen. All right, let me get these uh, short prints here. Show them the proper. Uh, the proper respect. Boom. Get these uh, tarot cards over here. I don't think they have bazooka backs for these, but just in case. All right, let's look for these bazooka backs. They're fair, fairly easy to uh, tell them apart from the rest of these. 
but you gotta check the back. That's the, that's the thing about it. All right. There's only a two per case. So probably not going to come out of this first box. But you never know. I don't know these cards feel great. Oh, there it is. Wow, well, there you go. What are the odds of that? The Bazooka Back short print for Mr. Mays of the Giants. Very nice. All right, moving on. How long did that one box take me? Ten minutes? Oh, boy. We might be here a while. I'm going to open these up uh, last. Two hours to do a case of this? Oh, hell no. I'm, I'm shooting for less than that. Ooh, that's a real good one. Cabrian Hayes, Rookie Pirates. Well, it was a really good one at one point. I'm not sure how he's playing now, but... Did he go Gasper? That's a clean-looking guard. Gallo, Rangers, Mini. The Nationals, a no name, short print. Seth Romero. Oh, Gasper, you missed the uh, Cabrian Hayes autograph, man. I was wondering where you were at. Thought you might have fallen asleep or something. The Judgment Mini.
tarot card. We have is it Anderson Tejeda? Rookie autograph for the Rangers. Votto Captain Community. For the Cardinals to 75, Cody Whitley. Village Tarot. The black and white uh, G Man Choi to fifty rays. Cache Auto has been requested, Braves. Buster Posey, Manny. All right, let's check the backs. There's a uniform variation, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> what do those look like? You haven't seen any of those Jackie Robinson or a Roberto Clemente card yet. And so I'm not going like full speed ahead here. Because I know there's those variations of Negro League stuff too. Well, yeah. I'm looking for the bazooka back here. It's probably not going to be in here, but got to check. All right, cool. I don't like how tall that stack is, but... Uh, I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let her do its thing. I'm on box number three right now. Uh, 
Well, we got the uh, team name variation there. I want to call that for the Brewers. Rasmussen rookie mojo. Yankees, uh, Clark Schmidt to 250. Oh, that's a tarot. Kirk Chapman of the A's. Thought it might be the bazooka. Kyle Lewis, Mariner, Mini. For the Astros to one fifty, Luis Garcia, rookie mojo. Now this might be the nicest Gypsy Queen I've ever broken. Design wise and stuff. Espinal, Blue Jays rookie autograph. Anderson Mini White Sox autograph, Mr. Dean Dooney. TCU doing some damage. Anybody see the show called uh, Damn, what's it called again? Sons of Anarchy? It's a really good show. If you're into like uh, violence and stuff, <clears throat> great show, really is. I was watching a countdown yesterday on YouTube. Uh, before that, a little Andy Young action for the D-Bucks. Autograph Mojo, that's the second one. Uh, but anyways, watching a countdown of like, oh, the top ten uh, shows where, you know, they kill somebody that you, you know, that, that you least expect. And one of my boys was on that list, and uh, it reminded me. You know, I got a little sad. All right, the no name variation for Mr. Biggio, Blue Jays there. They made a spin off show of the Sons of Anarchy. The uh, nice uh, tarot card. 
It's called Mayans. I haven't seen that. The Sons of Anarchy was uh, slightly based off of the infamous crew, the uh, Hells Angels. Numbered? Yep, to 250. Bryce Harper Phillies. Mini. Mojo. Alright, so let's see. As far as autographs are concerned. Yeah, that last box had three autographs in it. That first box had two numbered autographs in it. It's been all done and young all came out of that last box. Nice. All right. Hotbox Mojo there with the third autograph. Only supposed to be two autos per box in this thing. On average, on average, on average. Checking for the bazooka back. Uh-huh, we, we thorough around here. As you can hear in the background there, some jackass on his bike going 40 miles an hour. Making all that noise for no reason. Alright, no bazooka back there. So let's uh, slide this over here. Do you guys ever have a dream where like you're back working at like one of your old jobs? I get this reoccurring dream where I have to go to work at, uh, at TJ Maxx, which is this... Uh, It's a retailer. They sell like clothes and stuff. And I get this reoccurring dream that like, oh, like I'm I'm late for work or something. And then when I wake up, I'm like, what the hell is that about? Am I late for work? TJ Maxx does have good stuff. You can find really nice stuff in there at really good prices. As long as you don't mind, you know, wearing something that's out of season. I know I don't. Ah, somebody asked for a pache. And there you go. Christian Pache, rookie auto. Braves. Not numbered though. Justin calling his shot. Been a while since someone did that. Marte Mini.
the script variation for the Rockies, Mr. Larry Walker. I'm only on box number four of ten, so uh, still got a long way to go. Chris Bryant tarot card. A Mount Castle Auto has been requested. All right. Phillies, Spencer Howard to 250. Rookie Mojo. Luzardo of the A's to 199. Looks like some people are watching in uh, an older version of the stream, not watching live. We have Albert Abreu, Yankees rookie autograph. Casper on the board. Some haze, mini. Josh Bell tarot card. Cutter here for the Red Sox. Christian Vasquez to 75. Dude, I love the new logo, man. I mean, I, I, mean, I, I chose it. <laughs> it's a lot cleaner, right? 
Yeah, man, it was, it was time for a change. Not that the other logo wasn't nice, but definitely time for a change. Actually, I asked the guy that did the logo for me to uh, to do one more thing for me. Yeah, give me another version of the of the logo because I plan on doing other stuff. Uh, no, I did not make the logo. My boy uh, Junior did. Yeah, he breaks here from, uh, from time to time. But uh, he is part of the Rip City family. So he hooked up the new logo, new banners, all types of stuff. And he did not do it for free, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Far from it. Looking for the bazooka picks. So Chase, I'm not sure if you heard me uh, before, but how's your golfing going? Are you on the PGA Tour yet? You're sick, so you're out for a good day. I'm sorry to hear that. Hopefully nothing too serious. But yeah, nowadays, definitely going to be careful with whatever you get. Alright. Almost done checking for these bazooka backs. Nothing there. Okay. You had a heat stroke? Oh, wow. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. That is no joke right there. Dang, it's almost midnight? Wow. Where am I at on this? I'm at about 40 minutes. And I'm on box five. So averaging about 10 minutes a box, it's a 10 box break, so we're looking at a little, little over an hour and a half to do this. Let me see. Right, I'm sorry, but I got to use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. I'm on box number five right now.
little sniff. Bismarck, he passed the plate. I was looking through my phone just now. And, yeah, wow, you just said it too in the chat, freak. Wow. Ain't that something. Oh, yeah. Name a better iced tea than Gold Peak Sweet Tea. There isn't one. It doesn't exist. Gold Peak is the best. All right. Let's keep going. Arizona, nah. Well, if you're if you're poor, maybe. It's definitely the best bang for your buck. Yeah, no, no, no doubt about that. We got a couple of on rookie auto for the Padres to one fifty. Padres doing some damage. Simeon, buy yourself a Gold Peak tea. Specifically the sweet tea and buy the sweet tea Arizona and compare the two. And then tell me with a straight face that the Arizona tea is better than the gold peak. Uh, not that I can think of, Jamie, you know. Rangers to 75, Nick Solak. Yeah, let me see. Nope. No twins numbered cards yet. You're welcome, Jamie. There's a lot of cards in this, but I gotta say, they're so nice. Man, Gypsy Queen really outdid itself this year. card autographs too I mean it's as good as it gets right here Blue Jays Tom Hatch to 199 there's another autograph Anderson Tejeda Rangers I think that's the second time we pulled that one. This one's to 99. Do they have these tarot cards autographed? I know they have parallels, but do they have autographs of them too? Excuse me. 
only complaint wish they would have put more cards in less packs that was honestly my only complaint I don't even mind all the cards just less packs got the no name plate there for Donaldson of the Twins there you go uh, Jamie a little short print action for you Soto Taro Mr. Shogo Akiyama to 250 Reds. I might have to buy the Marlins on one of these Gypsy Queen breaks for myself. So I can get a... Uh, try to get a Chisholm autograph. Check for these bazooka backs. the Jazz Auto. That's my guy, man. I think in a, in a year or two, the Marlins are going to be a really good team. There's the bazooka back. Apparently two per case, but you never know with that kind of stuff. There might be more. So, I'll continue to check on the rest of these. We're halfway there. We are halfway there. So, the bazooka back was for Willie Castro. I think that's his name anyway. Of the Tigers. Alright, I'm halfway through in 50 minutes. Yeah, it took Jason two hours to do this, huh? Yeah. I can see why. Alright, second half begins. Box number six. Oh, I was going to say, there's our dude. But it's Jesus Sanchez. Autograph Mojo. For the Marlins. Jesus Sanchez is not all that good, I'm not going to lie. But he's still a rookie, so you never know. I was going to say, that's a thick pack. <laughs> I grabbed two of the big 
So, Freak, what did Bismarck Key pass away from? Uh, I just I got the news on my phone just now. That would have been bad. There's the uh, the script variation, I think is what they call it. For the Giants, Evan Longoria. TCU. TCU train keeps on rolling. Chris Bryant, Cubs Mini, for the Twins, Brent Rooker to 75, yeah, so I'll, pull, I'll pull a number card for Jamie, he's not even here to watch it, some people I tell you. Nice one, right? Dylan Carlson of the Cardinals. <laughs> the TCU terrain coming on down. You're working at this time? Well, that makes one of us. <laughs> I, mean, I can't really call this work, you know? Edward Olivares, Royals, rookie autograph. I like his signature. Put the number 14 on there in case you forgot. And it's number 1099. CBK, filler team mojo. Harper Tarot. Still gotta open the uh, the box toppers too, uh, which I think they do have box topper autographs. They're probably really hard to hit though, as they should be. For the Blue Jays, Dean Pearson to 150. I'm like, what, two or three parallels per box in Gypsy Queen? How many of these do I have in this kit? I think I have like three cases of this in the store. Oh, nice. Mike Trout to 250 Angels. Tarot of the Diamond. God, I top load that. Gorgeous card right there. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think I have three cases in the store. Well, two more now. I have a, I have a case that I don't have listed. I might have to do that ASAP. I have a feeling we're going to go through this uh, Gypsy Queen fairly quickly. This stuff is nice looking. All right. Anyone want to fill the, the second half of the Donruss Elite case? Last I checked, 25 teams left. If you buy in, you got a chance to win the Jaguars too. And we'll add more money to the giveaway pot as well. Which is at $200 right now. Filler's not really moving though, Chase, so gonna need people to buy teams through the store to get that moving. Or really anything. Oh my god, Billy. Yeah, as long as you don't mind me doing it tomorrow. <laughs> First thing when I come in, I'll do it tomorrow. Box number eight. No, seven. I'm approaching the hour mark. I'm trying to be Jason here, though. What was this time? Two hours? Was it really two hours? Or was it like an hour and 50-something minutes? I need an accurate number here. Because I want to beat him and rub it in his face. Like, ha, old man! I'm kidding. I, I would never talk to Jason that way. Got him Molina Cardinals to one ninety nine. We got a uh, funky cold Medina, as I like to call him. Phillies rookie autograph mojo. Adonis Medina. There's the missing nameplate. Sharp print for the Philly Zach Wheeler.
Is the Freak of Nature still here? Uh, paging Freak of Nature. Paging Freak of Nature, please come to the principal's office. Thank you. We have 1099 Ali Sanchez, Mets rookie autograph. My man James get a hit, very nice. Wait, is there like a is there a hot box in this? We have Rafael Marcon of the Phillies, rookie autograph. I think that was like a Phillies box there. The black and white Phillies, wow. To 50, Rafael Marcon. Mr. Moniak to two fifty Phillies rookie. Well, I've, I've passed a few uh, Mount Castles, just no uh, no hits yet, Billy. There's still three boxes left though. And the box topper packs too, so I know it's hard, but keep hope alive. Billy, I'll tell you what, bro. If you're the only one, one out of 30, if you're the only one that's not in bold, I'll do something for you. Otherwise, uh, just going to have to hope for a hit, I guess. <laughs> I've seen people go hitless, and then it's it's the last box, and they get like the biggest hit out of the whole case. You just just gotta be patient sometimes, but uh, definitely helps to be lucky. Bazooka backs there. I don't know, freak. That 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 depends on on uh, 
the eye of the beholder, if you will. I got a question for you, though, freak. I got a question for you, freak, that only you can answer. Probably not the one you wanted, but a Orioles card nonetheless. Dean Creamer, Orioles autograph. See, there you go, Billy. All right, so Freak, here's the question. What happened to Bismarcky? What did he uh, pass away from? There's a bazooka back. That helps. It's for Pavin Smith, a D-backs rookie. Ah, the good old sugars, man. The silent but deadly killer. Well, I hope he went out eating like a a tasty ass brownie or something. <laughs> a hundred a hundred lemon pepper wings with a side of sweet tea. What a way to go. That actually sounds really good. I don't know if I could put down a hundred though. That's that's a lot, bro. Alright, Trevor Story, Rocky script variation. I know for a fact I cannot I cannot put down a hundred chicken wings. No way. No chance. De I mean, depends on the size of them. Like, if we're talking like nuggets, yeah, even if they were the size of nuggets, I could eat a hundred. I, could, I couldn't even do 50. After like around maybe 25, I'll be like, I just want to die. The no name variation for Ryan Weathers Padres. Yeah, I don't know how rare those cards are since I'm seeing them a lot. Ooh, nice. That is actually uh, pretty good. Yermi Mercedes to 50. Rookie autograph. TCU doing work. Man, after those, no, I don't know, after 20 checker wings, I'm about, I'm about done. Speaking of which, 
I haven't gone to Checkers in a long time. Dude, I used to love their their fries. And I still love their fries, but I, I can't I can't eat as much as I used to. And it's funny, when I go and I get chicken wings, I don't get fries. I'll get like uh, a, what's it called? I'll get a fruit punch and the 20, and the 20 fries. I mean the 20 wings. And just have that, no fries. The fries are really good, but like after they get like cold, then you might as well just toss them. Well, they used to call them what rallies in your neck of the woods, probably checkers. Down south, it's checkers. Uh, I think like I think in Georgia they call the rallies. Jacob the Grom. Yeah, Checkers has really good shakes. I go for the. Uh, I'm weird. I, I like the strawberry shake. Dean Kramer, the 150 Oreos. He seems more of like a vanilla kind of guy. the back here. I think I found three of those uh, bazooka backs so far. I think those are the true short prints. Like the super short print anyway. I think those are a bit rarer than the script and the, uh, the no name deal. Short prints which expand the base set are one per hobby box. These add 21 additional cards to the checklist, including a specially numbered Jerry Kalinic. For these cards, the number of parallels is significantly smaller. Uh, there's the missing nameplate. And then there are variations. The Jackie Robinson Day, Robert Clemente Day, and the Negro League Centennial Celebration. For all three of these, images are different. Oh, okay. There's the diamond art variation, but that's something else. Jackie Day 
Uh, Jackie Robinson is 30 cards. There's the mask up, image variations. Okay, the bazooka backs. But they still are short prints. Okay, all right. I will respect that. Got two left. And I just maybe, just maybe might beat Jason's record. And I guarantee he didn't even bother looking at the back of the cards for the bazooka backs. I, I, I just, I know it. Never been to a checker. Sonic is pretty good, though. Yeah, yeah. If I had to choose between the two, I would choose Sonic's. If I'm being honest. We got a twin autograph. Brent Rooker. There you go, twins. Oh, Whataburger for sure. Whataburger for the win. Man, I haven't been there since I was in college, bro. I don't even know where I would find one of those. Twin script variation, Just Donaldson. I like the, uh... What do you call them? They're not shakes, but they're like, uh... They're not smoothies either. What do you call them? They sell them at Sonic's. And the, sometimes they'll put like uh, like the cherry limeade. It's a, I think it's a slushy. I think that's my, my, what it'd be called. The cherry limeade with the nerds in them. Oh my God. Those are the, those are the best. Texas loaded with water burgers. Wow, yeah, we I used to have one uh, in in Orlando, like right down from my apartment when I was in college down there, and that's the only one I've ever been to. I've never seen another one since. And you know what's overrated? White Castle. White Castle super overrated. Uh, Tavares not overrated to seventy five Rangers. At least I don't think he's overrated. Anyway. Waffle House is the greatest. That is true. Alright, the no name Tom Seaver Mets. Where did I have White Castle? I think it was Atlantic City. And it was an adventure, let me tell you. Oh my God. 
It was it was literally like some Harold and Kumar shit <laughs> to go to that white gazel. My buddy and I were drunk as hell. And we were hungry. So we're like, dude, what can we get to eat? And then my boy was like, I know, let's go to White Castle. And I was like, I've never been to White Castle. Shit, let's go. So he calls an Uber to take us to White Castle. And this dude pulls up in a freaking, uh, damn, Twins box. Brent Rooker yet again. To 150. Twins. Jamie having a break here. So anyway, my boy calls the Uber to take us to White Castle, right? And it's like, bro, uh, I want to say we were in the car for like half an hour. And the guy pulls up and then he's like, oh, we're here. And me and my boy are looking around like, what are you talking about? He's like, oh, you know, we're here, we're here. And then I look at my boy, and I'm like, dude, where did you send us to? And then he's like, he's like I put White Castle, so, I, you know, we should be at a White Castle. Apparently, in Atlantic City, they have, like, a, it's like a local spot called White Castle. Where it's, it's like a museum or something. So I'm like, you jackass. So I go to the guy, I go to the driver, I'm like, dude, we're hungry as hell, we're drunk as shit, we're trying to go to White Castle, the uh, the food place. So the guy starts laughing, he's like, dude, the nearest White Castle was like where I picked you guys at from, and he picked us up, you know, near our hotel. So he's like, dude, it's gonna it's gonna be like another it's gonna be like another forty five minute drive to get to White Castle. So I go to the guy, I'm like, look, man, we'll pay we'll pay, we'll obviously pay you, and we'll buy you White Castle if you take us there. So the dude was like, shit, you're gonna pay me and you're gonna give me food. All right. So he takes us to White Castle. Bro, it must have been like four in the morning or something. And we're stumbling in there. And I buy like $50 worth of food. Because <laughs> I took food back to, uh, to to give some to my roommate. And uh, suffice it to say, at the time, it was really good. But I regret spending that much money. Because uh, it didn't, it didn't go, it didn't go out too well. Let's just say that. And that's my story. And that is my story. Did all that just to be disappointed by White Castle? What is J uh, the Ruth? I I thought I thought so. Card numbers three hundred one through three twenty are uh, short printed. Yes, no. Con can any confirmation on that? Little Ruth action. Bro, me and my boy were stupid drunk, bro. Like, stupid drunk. Not blackout drunk. W weren't, weren't there yet. He was blackout drunk, actually. He doesn't remember that night. But but I, I, I do remember. I wasn't nearly as drunk as he was, but I, I was still pretty drunk. Yeah, it was. That was with my boy Ethan. <laughs> That's exactly right. Ethernet. That's my guy right there, man. 
Ne- I mean, listen, the only time it's ever acceptable to get blackout drunk, in my opinion, is if you're home. If you're home and you got nowhere to be, you got nothing to do, by all means, get blackout drunk. But when you're out in public, not a good look. That's right. Like what? What was it? Like four years ago or something, freak? Good times, man. Good times. box mojo and I'm at about the hour and a half mark nice dang I went through this pretty quickly uh, compared to the old cardboard Jesus gotta be super duper rare number 35 of 50 the mini rookie autograph Nick Madrigal white socks T C U my goodness very nice You've been playing RuneScape all day? I don't know what that is. Uh, I figure it's a game, though. Speaking of games, uh, there's this company that announced a, uh, a, a portable, basically a portable gaming PC. You know, similar to like the Nintendo Switch, but you can. Pl- it's like it's like having a computer, though. You can install Windows on it. You can play Xbox games on it. Pretty much anything you can do with a P- on a PC, you can do on that. It's called the... Uh, it's made by Valve. Called the St- It's called the Steam Deck, I think it's called. It's probably already sold out pre-sale. It's supposed to come out uh, in December. But it's basically a PC version of the Nintendo Switch. And it looks amazing. And I might have to buy it. I don't know. I've been, I've been thinking about getting the Nintendo Switch. Just because I want to play certain games on there. But then I have to remind myself, Jesse, you're an adult. And you don't even play video games like that anymore. So then I stopped myself. Alright. Uh, we got uh, Oviedo to 75. Cardinals rookie. Yeah, I don't, I don't play... I don't play video games nearly as much as I used to. But every now and then, I'll get, I'll get the itch. Like, lately, I've been wanting to play, like, zombie, zombie mode on Call of Duty. Because I want to kill me some zombies. What do we have here? Phillies, Rafael Marcon to 50.
You talking about this TCU uh, Gasper? Yeah, it's just it's just an insert. <laughs> very true, TCU. Very true. Phillies. Jojo Romero. Sorry, Gasper. I, I don't know what card you're talking about. If you could be a little more specific, I can probably answer your question, but there's just so many cards I've gone through here. I don't know. Got a Kikuchi Mariners to 250. What's up, Wolfie? Well, Wolfie, to answer that question, I'm going to tell you to stick around for a few more minutes. Because A, I'm almost done. And B, you can see the uh, the recap. The tarot card before the Mets one, which would be this one. And nothing special there. These are all the tarot cards. Uh, I've hit one numbered tarot card. Which was uh, Mr. Mike Trout. That was pretty cool. I think it was numbered to like uh, 250. Well, luckily everything ships in this. So if I miss out on a variation or anything like that. I don't really have to worry about it because it's all going to go out. Nice Padre right there. Mr. Cronenworth to 150. Very nice. A good hit right there. Congrats to Ryan, even though he ignored me when I was calling for him for like a good half an hour. And I still got to open up the toppers. Nice. And Acuna at the end here to 199 Braves. A little something something there. And that is going to do it. All right. Nothing there. Making sure I don't miss any bazooka backs.
think I've seen three bazooka bags in this case so far. Just making sure I do my due diligence and double check every single card. Alrighty then. Alright. Well, not quite done yet. Let's see what's in these chrome packs. Are these? No? Okay, alright. So these should be chrome cards, you yep. know. Very nice. Mm, got a numbered one here. To 50, Mr. Bueller of the Dodgers. Jamie doing some damage, okay. I see you, Jamie. Every dog has his day, as they say. Nice Bueller to 50. Another numbered card to 99, Matt Olson of the A's. He was in the home run derby, I think. That means he's got to be good. Another numbered card. Speaking of the home run derby. Won the Home Run Derby two years in a row. Officially making more money winning the Home Run Derby than he gets paid by his team. Mr. Pete Alonso. And look at Otani struggling there. That was probably a 200 mile an hour fastball. Autograph, autograph. A numbered card, White Sox, Lewis Robert to 150. To 150, JT Real Muto Phillies. Man, these cards in chrome, so much nicer. I gotta say, Gypsy Queen, very, very nice this year. Number to 150, Brewers. Keston, or Keston Hura. And that is going to do my friends. Friends? Alright, so all those were the chrome cards. Give you a quick look at all the tarot inserts. Alright. Cool. Very nice looking cards. Alright, now let's look at the parallels here. Okay, some nice color on this stuff. That uh, mini is the 250. Alright, cool. Nice stuff there. There's the minis there. Cool. Now for the real good stuff. So let me separate these. Oh, what is this? 
put that's the bazooka back. Give you a nice recap here. Plus the bazooka. Excuse me. All right, so check it out. We uh, honestly, I don't know why I top loaded that, but whatever. 250 Mets usually don't top load cars that are numbered to 250. Anyways, uh, I top loaded this one though because this these are pretty rare. The tarot card to 250 Mike Trout of the Angels, very nice. The script variation, as you can see, the team cards, very nice. Uh. Chris, I'm pretty sure, I'm fairly certain that uh, I didn't miss a numbered card, bro. The numeration is uh, here on the bottom left corner. I'm pretty sure, dog. I, I, I literally went through all of them. Here, look, I'll, I'll go through them again if it makes you feel a little bit better. None of these are numbered, brother. You, you, you gotta learn to trust me. Alright, anyways. The scripts. Walker, the Rockies, Puck, Longoria, Story, Donaldson. Then we have the no names here. Donaldson, Wheeler, Weathers, Seaver, Chavis. Then we have these, the Bazooka Backs. About two per case of these. Got Castro and Mr. Smith. The short printed Babe Ruth. The Yankees. And what else? The no the autographs. That's what everyone cares about. So we got young D backs, Pache Braves, a brave Yankees, Campusano Padres, Tejita Rangers, Sanchez Marlins. Carlson Cardinals, Olivares Royals, Medina Phillies, Sanchez Mets, Marcon Phillies, Kramer Orioles, Mercedes White Sox, Rooker Twins, Rooker Twins, Romero, Phillies, Madrigal White Sox, and a Cronenworth for the Padres. Very, very nice. I got you, Chris. No worries, bro. And uh, thank you all. I'll get it out to you. By the way, those of you that got a hit, whether it be a short print, an autograph, or a card numbered to 10 or less, your name and team is in bold. For those of you that did not get a hit, there's something to look forward to. Our national hit list promo. Uh, starting from July the 15th until August 1st, all right, if you do not get a hit in a break that you're in within that time frame, you're eligible to win some break credit. The more uh, breaks we fill, the more money I'll add to the pot. Currently, the pot is at $200. Okay, between now and August 1st, I'm sure we could get that pot up to probably $2,000. All right, so if you don't get a hit in any of those breaks uh, between that time frame, you can still win some break credit. So something to look forward to. All right, thank you very much.